What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. So someone by the name of Been There Done That commented saying that the M16 from Modern Warfare 2 is hands down the best AR for zombies. So of course we had to go ahead and put that to the test. We've recently reviewed the M4 and the M13B and both of them did pretty good. So let's see how well the M16 does. Once again, if any of you guys have suggestions for other weapons I should check out, then please drop a comment below low and I'll be sure to do some testing. I've got a great mobility build for the M16, but before I get into that, I just quickly want to thank U4GM for sponsoring this video. U4GM is a professional Call of Duty service and they'll help you unlock all the rare schematics, including the new classified schematics. They'll even help you unlock the Borealis Mastery Camo. If you're interested in this, then click the link in the description below and be sure to use my code HIP for 5% off. Alright guys, so the build I'm using for the M16 is as follows. We've got the 14 inch carbine shroud barrel, the Ravage 8 stock, we've got the X10 rear grip, the phase 3 underbarrel and finally we've got the 60 round mag all right guys i'll go head over to the tier 3 zone and get this bad boy pack a punched and then we'll do some testing all right guys we are here in the tier 3 zone we went ahead and got our m16 to pack a punch tier 3 so let's see what con we do have an hvt contract right there so let's go ahead and ping that thing um we got this ltv but let's oh dang that was quick all right yeah we are uh we're doing some damage with this thing that was like a one shot headshot or probably like two shots but you know let's try it out against this mangler and already dead okay okay oh yeah this thing's ripping through the man <laughs> it definitely is better than the m4 and the m13b oh man this is nice <laughs> all right let's head over to that contract and Let's see which HVT we get. Hold on, the contract. No, they took it. Okay, no problem, man. No problem. We'll go ahead and grab that sport control contract. Do that. So we'll have, you know, fairly large groups of zombies we can take out. Really get to testing this thing. So one thing I will say is that the ammo count is definitely a lot better than the previous two weapons we tested out. Because we've got 120 in the mag and 900 reserve when we're maxed out on ammo and the thing with the m16 is it's actually a three burst and once you pack a punch it it becomes fully automatic and the damage output so far is just insane this might hands down be the best ar all right let's throw down an inhibitor here just look at that man like <laughs> it's almost like an insta kill against the zombies Mangler right there, missed a few shots, but all good. He's already dead. Okay, yeah, I'm loving this thing. Definitely loving it. Yeah, so we've got more ammo. The damage output is definitely a lot better than the M13 and better than the M4. One weapon I will also test out pretty soon here. It also got suggested by one of you guys is the M13C. So we'll have to check that out as well. But so far, the M16 definitely wins. We've got the most damage output. It's very mobile. Uh, the ADS speed is pretty good too. Just look at how quickly we destroy that spore. All right, let's throw down some more inhibitors. We already destroyed two spores so far. So this contractor is a breeze with the M16. Oh my God. All right, we've got this disciple on us here too. Let's quickly reload. Yeah, the reload time is pretty good too. So you definitely won't get caught reloading or anything. Especially with, um, I was about to say sleight of hand there, <laughs> speed cola. Oh yeah, just look at that. Disciple had no chance against the M16. Let's destroy this spore back here. There we go. I can't wait to do some HVT contracts, man. That's gonna be fun. And another spore down. We just got one left to go. That's over there by the stairs. Alright, throw down the final inhibitor. Let's see if we get some more zombie spawning. Interestingly, there's none. Okay, we got one down there. Is that it? No way. Okay, let's just destroy the spore then, I guess. Missing a few shots there, but we Gucci. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see what we get. self res Okay, I'll take it. Uh, other stuff's not too fancy, but we'll definitely take the extra self res 
you can never have enough self revives when you're in the tier 3 zone. Alright, so there is no contract. I mean, there is the escort contract, but don't really feel like doing that one. So let's go ahead and grab the car and uh, see if we can get an HVT contract here soon. Well, we do have that Outlast contract next to us, but there is an HVT contract that just spawned in. So let's rush over there before anyone else gets there. There is one guy pretty close to it. So if we're lucky, we will get it. Yeah, it looks like he's uh yeah it looks like he's ignoring it all right let's go all right collected the contract or accepted i should say what is up with me today <laughs> we got a mega abomination contract so let's go ahead grab the atv and drive over there so i do remember the m4 and the m13 were pretty good against the mega i can't wait to test it with the m16 here this is gonna be nice all right and there he is he just spawned in. Let's get off the ATV, start lighting this guy up. Very nice. Oh, one face gone already. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we are melting the Mega Abomination with this thing. Alright, let's keep sliding around the place. Try to avoid taking too much damage from him. Hopefully he uses his laser attack here pretty soon. All right, let's keep lighting him up. He's going to charge. All right, next laser attack. Let's go. Should we risk it? Oh, ooh, ooh. okay. We made it out of there. <laughs> Definitely not going to risk it. All right, he's got that face glowing back there. He's like a bit less than half health. Come on, laser attack. Nice. Another face has been destroyed. Just got like a quarter of his health bar left. Come on, one more laser attack, dude. Come on. Any second now. Alright, shoot your laser attack, dude. There we go. That should... There we go. He's done. Nice. Beautiful. Let's see what we got from this guy. Nothing special, just an ammo mod. What's in the rewards? Okay, we'll take the sigil. Uh, we already have those, too. Alright. Definitely gonna take that sigil though. I am currently collecting those Okay, there's another HVT contract back there So let's go ahead and head over there. So so far we know you can easily take out groups of zombies as we saw with the sport control contract um, Mega abominations are no problem either the roaming HVTs are pretty easy too um, hopefully we get like a disciple HVT or Maybe a Mimic or something. I guess Disciple would be a bit better since those are probably the most annoying HVT contract to do. But yeah, let's see what we get here. Uh, okay, Disciple. Very nice. Got a Disciple right there too. <laughs> and a Mimic. Okay, let's do some work here. Mimic's already dead. <laughs> I'm honestly wondering if I should go for the Bioluminescent camo, which is the mastery camo for the MW2 weapons here in Zombies. I'm pretty close to Borealis, I should have that unlocked in like, I'd say 3 or 4 days from now. But yeah, Bioluminescent, I just, I don't know. I'm, I personally think they should have kept Borealis for the MW2 weapons as well, that would have been super nice. Oh yeah, we're just ripping through these zombies here. Oh, and the HVT target's right there. Let's shoot his arm. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Turn that zombie. Okay, yeah, so this guy's taking a lot of damage. Let's try to focus on headshots here. Okay, yeah, now once you start hitting those headshots, he gets melted. He's about halfway dead, less than halfway. A few more shots here, and this guy will be... Okay, never mind, he's restoring his health. That's why, man, these are the most annoying HVT contracts, I swear. Let's throw that. Nice. Okay, he's going into the building. Hopefully he doesn't glitch out. And there we go. Nice. Completed that contract. Wasn't too bad, to be honest. Definitely a lot more powerful than the M4 and the M13B. But, yeah. Okay, so there's no more contracts there. Um, I think we're pretty much done with 
testing this definitely is the best ar i've used so far in zombies i will still have to test out the m13c and uh yeah that's probably going to be the next video or no i think i'll drop that one tomorrow i've got another one planned for later today but yeah so stay tuned for that guys all right so once again if any of you guys have suggestions for other weapons i should bring in and test out drop a comment below i'll give you a little shout out put you on screen and uh yeah anyways that's gonna be it for me be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed comment with any suggestions for future videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel to show your support i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are and as always goodbye